My name is Nancy Fong. My Chinese name is Kong Wai Yi. I was born in Kowloon, Hong Kong. I grew up in Chicago, Chinatown. And my family moved to the U.S. in 1962. Uh, we came for a better life because there was no jobs oh, in Hong girl. Kong. Really? Yeah. My father came to the U.S. first. He came in February 1960. And he had to work a couple of years to afford the plane tickets for six of us. Also, he had to apply for us to come, so that took a while. The one in the center is of my mother and father at the airport on the day that my father was leaving to come to the U.S. This picture is when my mother and my siblings and I were at the airport. That was when we came to the U.S. There was an article in the paper when we arrived here of when we were getting off the plane. When I came, I was almost five years old. And as a child in Hong Kong, we were all just very excited because, of course, this is how my mother presented to us that we're going to America to reunite with our father again. So that was very exciting. But then when we came here, life was not easy. So my parents worked very hard. They did whatever they could do to earn some money. The wages were very low. Coming to the U.S. after we got here, it was not fun because my father worked, my mother worked whenever she found a job. She worked in factories. She worked in a what she calls a bobby pin factory. My brother and my two older sisters were in school. I was not old enough to go to school yet, so it was just me and my younger sister at home. In Hong Kong, I had my siblings around, my mother and my grandmother around. My grandmother was always doting on me and carried me on her back because we didn't have strollers, so we had something called an eye, what people call slings here. So I always had attention. Coming here, I was left alone with me and my younger sister. At the time of migration, my mother was everything because she had to take charge and care for us. And uh, she worked very hard. She worked whenever she could. She tried to learn English by looking at books on her own. So it was very hard for her to to uh, learn English because she was doing it on her own. She was reading out loud, sounding words out. And for something like learning a language, it's just very difficult trying to do it on your own. You need to have somebody give you some guidance. And this picture here is of us kids. Uh, we lived on the south side of Chicago, and this is the same year that this is a few months after we arrived here. And they were very special because, because of the place and time that they were taken. These are old black and whites, and at the time, it's quite a luxury to be able to go to a photographer, which we couldn't afford, but we had to take pictures to document this, to give to, to send to my father. Okay, these photos are special because they're the family. And there's nothing more special than a family.